Hi everyone, I posted a video on my channel yesterday. It was about the National Toxicology Program study. The results of this study are proving that cell phones, the cell towers, the radio frequencies are very, very dangerous. And I, this is so important. This information is so important to get circulated. And I see the view numbers, 39. 39. The Environmental Health Trust is an incredibly important channel. 2,000 subscribers. 39 views. Listen to just a few seconds of this. The mechanisms of metabolic disruption by the electromagnetic fields proceed through the Lorentz force. Interference with hydrogen bridges and electron tunneling and is understood down to the quantum mechanical level. So I really challenge the notion that there are no mechanisms to support this. From a very basic mechanism of action on free electrons and protons, EMFs have downstream effects that reflect the complexity of cell metabolism. Biological systems are very intricate, and the views of engineering are generally too simple to take, uh, to take that into account. EMFs cannot... I really hope that you click on the link below and watch and circulate these videos. Here is another video posted on Environmental Trust or Health Trust. Listen to this. We will now move uh, to uh, uh, Theodora Scarato. So I think, again, I wish that the public were more aware that we are currently studying an agent that is widespread over the world's population. I'd like to point to a couple comments in the NTP report. The technical report refers to FCC human exposure limits as safety guidelines, but this is inaccurate as the FCC has adopted maximum permissible levels, not safety limits, because proper safety testing was not ever done on chronic low-level exposure, which is why this very study is being reviewed today. The NTP found adverse health effects, namely cancer at levels the U.S. government assumed would co cause no harm based on how they set these exposure limits. And the finding of increased cancers and precancerous lesions, um, I think many scientists are stating, confirms that the basis for our FCC limits are non-protective. I wanted to point out that I think it would be important for the technical report to include the regulatory limits of other countries and briefly summarize that the United States allowable FCC limits are far higher than many other countries limit. Okay, we're not being protected. The FCC is not protecting us from these very high levels of the frequencies. People are getting sick. Children are getting sick. Listen to what she has to say about ADHD and the co-exposures medications and the frequencies. There's a synergistic effect. This is so unbelievably important. How many views? Thir uh, 24. 24. Yes. Another thing that is important to add to the technical report is the issue of uh, co-exposures. When we're prescribed medication, the doctor checks for synergies and you get a side effect sheet that's a mile long, but with electromagnetic fields, with no such safety testing done, no, nor monitoring for side effects, we don't have that. And there is substantial uh, evidence of potentiation of effects. So, for example, I think that the technical report, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with this, needs to review studies um, that have showed synergies and co-exposure. So this slide, I have two studies, Yun 2013, which found increased ADHD symptoms associated with mobile phone use for children with higher lead levels. And the researchers hypothesized this was due to the combined toxic effect of RF and lead on the developing brain. There was another study analyzing over 1,000 mother-child pairs, which also found a significantly increased risk of having poor 
or delayed neurodevelopment up to three years old in association with maternal mobile phone use during pregnancy. There's actually a rich literature on synergies that needs to be summarized in the technical report. And certainly the research showing a tumor promotion effect, both in human and animals. I don't have time to review all of that. Um, but all right, I'm going to link to both of these videos below. More important information is being discussed here. I really hope that everybody circulates these links. Our government knows how dangerous these frequencies are. Children are being destroyed. It, it has to matter. It has to matter. It has to matter to people.